all 48 hours until kickoff because we wanted to know how much at America's Biggest Game is made by workers here at home. And when we found something made overseas, we issued a challenge to the NFL at ABC's Made in America quarterback. <laughs> David Muir joins us right now. Hey, David. I'll take the pass from you tonight, Diane. And, you know, so much is talked about with which team is going to win on Sunday. But we wanted to know about the American workers winning behind the scenes. How much more can we get that will be made in America that you'll see on the field on Sunday? Just in time for the Super Bowl, some supersized questions from all of you about what's made in America. Giants and Patriots. Made in Nicaragua. John from Glendora, New Jersey, writing in, how many of these team jerseys are made in the good old USA? He even sent us this video. He had to dig back 15 years to find one made in made America. In USA. Michelle from America. Glenwood, Minnesota. I challenge all professional teams to make their items in the USA. And then there was Tammy. And it was made in China. Calling up the NFL herself. I have called in, sent emails. So we decided to look for answers, too, and some of them Tammy is going to like. Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis, the turf for Sunday's Super Bowl showdown, made just 465 miles south in Calhoun, Georgia. 350 employees. That all-important coin toss? The commemorative coin. Highland Mint in Melbourne, Florida, the official coin of the NFL. 150 employees churning out 10,000 coins. From the metal to the mold to the engraving, all American. And from the toss to the trophy, the Vince Lombardi Trophy made in Persippany, New Jersey by Tiffany and Company, a team of 25 working since September, handcrafting this out of 14 plates of sterling silver. But before either team gets their hands on this, they have to handle this, a Wilson football made in Ada, Ohio. 4,000 footballs made every day here, 700,000 each year. People think they have some kind of robot or something, but there's just some things that people have to do themselves. And how about what the players have on? 90% of the helmets you see on the field, made in America. Many of them by Shut Sports in Litchfield, Illinois. 750 workers, and they say America has the edge because of the science that goes into the helmets, the testing. And what about their uniforms? Tom Brady, Eli Manning? Turns out they're made in Berlin. Berlin, Wisconsin. Family owned since 1949, it's Rippin Athletics. Ten new hires just this year. The uniforms custom tailored for every player right down to the centimeter. But here's the big catch. What about the rest of us? The jerseys we all buy in the stores. The NFL licenses their name and about 135 different companies have paid them to use it, racking up $3 billion in sales and about half of those products made overseas. So we went to the NFL asking would they consider giving preference to souvenirs and jerseys made in America? Their answer, yes. NFL? Meet American Classic Outfitters in Perry, New York. They're waiting for your call, making 1,000 uniforms a week. They say if the NFL hired them, they could hire 400 new employees. And so while we don't know who will win the Super Bowl on Sunday, there are already some winners, the people behind the scenes, making so much of what you'll see on Sunday right here in America.